Bhagavad Gita, the 11th quote, the holiest of the holy books, which no other book in the whole world can compete such a fantastic book because first of all, there was no book. There was nothing is written. It is just word to mouth what is translated, what has been handed over. So the moment they hear Bhagavad Gita, see the book, they could feel the original voice as if Krishna, their God, the Hindu God is sitting and just giving them the prasads, the jnana to correct them, sitting like a carpenter to find out where all are the bends so that it can move very smoothly. There is neither this world nor the world beyond, nor happiness for the one who doubts. There is neither this world, please try to understand this, this is, means the present. Nor the world beyond, there is neither the next one. If this is not the positive, beyond is the negative. Nor happiness for the one who doubts. Only the positive and negative can create the deeper, the electricity. The child, the answer for the question. But the one who doesn't understand there is neither this world, those who do not be this world in the present world, the present body, if they do not embrace the present body and they do not hug and embrace and understand and utilize every part of this body, the present one, then they will not find the positive. Nor the world beyond is the negative. They can, cannot move from here to the another stage to open up. Unless you have wetted and oiled this machine properly, the machine has to go far away to see the world, washed opening world. There is neither this world nor the world beyond. Nor happiness, when these two is not connected, you will not see happiness. Happiness means the answer. Happiness means husband and wife together created a love child. The teacher and the student together created an answer in the examination center. Nor happiness to the one who doubts. The doubt, the doubt comes because every child when he goes to the classrooms and he listens by opening the ears and do not unnecessarily question the teacher and disturb the teacher. Answer flows into his ears and he or she goes back and practices a thousand times in conscious layer. And when the time comes, it strikes without thinking. Answer flows without Thinking that's why in all the practice they say when they do 10,000 kicks, then they go to another 100,000 kicks. When they reach 500,000 kicks, they see the gap, the leg moves. You do not have to tell. The leg sees the gap and the lightning speed is much faster than any nuclear missile, any fastest missile which ca carrying the nuclear mock, the Mach fast, whatever the Russian says is the very, you move faster and with a fraction of a second you get the knocked on, you got the answer, you grabbed it. Bhagavad Gita said, there is neither this world nor the world beyond nor happiness for the one who doubts. The doubt, the doubt came because the husband has not have such a beautiful body. He has got a pot belly, a stinking mouth because stinking mouth and the stinking body and the pot belly came because he left the village his own land and he went to the city to become a slave for some one some factory when he is in deep love with his land morning has to when the sunrise till sunset he's walking climbing the coconut trees plowing pulling the cows deep in love the flowers and the fruits and most of his food is from the nature the sunlight 
going deep inside you can see him have real tarsen body where is his doubt that the wife will run away with somebody else neither this world nor the that doubt is the real cause of the positive and negative not able to create electricity and the wife also when she does all the work the house she got the bhajan the dance the music aditi devo bhava keep on serving that and creating such a beautiful vegetable garden fruit garden medicinal garden she becomes like the nightingale wow she is only beauty and who can doubt that her beauty is so beautiful that she got a powerful body which husband would love to drop her and run after another that doubt has created this problem hence the whole society has created invigilators when students go to the examination centers and they are sending scores to check whether children are copying indirectly they have made you a robber they have forced you to become a robber without allowing you to melt with your master that gurukul system they do not allow you to hold on to one subject they give you six or seven or eight they give you so many books no one seed is enough to make it grow like a beautiful tree the medicine tree mbps the engineering tree the engineers the mba the business management that is the vaishyas the kshatriyas you have varieties but here they created and the doubt may made you can you believe you go to the exam they are asking you they they have to examine you to find out whether you are a girl or a boy whether you got intelligence or not whether you are a brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra to check that one they keep guns scores invigilators can you believe and from there the doubt happened and doubt continues as long as you all do not go deeper to find the truth and melt with your subject and you love your body your eyes the nose the ears the whole body which the nature has given with is priceless they are made you a slave and they do not they don't understand by making you a slave they are also living in a slavery world the moment the doubt comes slavery is thy name there is neither this world this the present enjoy the present deep down penetrate deeper and deeper only you and the subject melts together husband and wife becomes one only then he can penetrate deeper he can see the warming up the four play the stretching and then you can see it goes deeper and deeper for a massive knocked on fitting to give a finishing touch and that created create the one of the most beautiful buildings neither this world nor the, the world beyond because you doubt every day kaisen says one development one brick you can 360 by 360 by bricks and sand and cement you have already built one small extra room in your house but people are working in the government and other factories and till the age of 60 they have not even constructed one house bhagavad gita says there is neither this world nor the world beyond this and beyond and negative and positive yin and the yang man and the woman if you do not participate in yours and make your body strong your meditative mind becomes so powerful to open up the world nor happiness for the one who doubts then the child is not born the nature is not born you have to copy the invigilate is come the doubt from where the doubt came it is not yours it has been implanted in you throughout their life from your childhood you have been taught to doubt drop it and just penetrate embrace the trees embrace the rain water embrace the sunlight and you are the god <laughs>